Hey everyone, D3 here from BrightIdeaScouting.com. This is another Scouting in the Park, except the problem is it's raining and it's very windy. And to go through these den leader guides out in the park would be very hard today. So I'm filming in my little library room here. So just a little bit of dif different scenery. Today is day 13 of our 30-day countdown to the program updates. Today we're going to be talking about sort of going in-depth with the bear leader guide. So first of all, if you are a new bear leader, thank you. Thank you for volunteering. This is sort of a transitionary rank within the Cub Scouts. As the tiger and wolf uh, start to introduce some skills, now we're going to start to go deeper into those skills. Uh, one of the, the best things that boys love about the bear program is they get to learn how to use a knife. Um, and safely use a knife and stuff. So you'll start to see a lot of boys learning some new skills uh, to start to take them into those older ranks. So I'll just kind of show you what it kind of looks like. Here is the new bear den leader guide. These are beautifully designed uh, and stuff. For those of you that are first time den leaders, I'd recommend reading about the first 17 pages in this book. It goes over the scouting values, the scout oath, the scout law, what we hope to accomplish in Cub Scouting, how Cub Scouting works, how does advancement work and stuff, all uh, in the first few pages. As you start to get to that advancement section, as you remember, there are seven adventures to, um, to a rank. Each adventure takes roughly three meetings, and they're all spelled out here in the Den Leader Guide. Uh, as you can see from this handout here, these are all the different belt loops that you earn from an adventure. Uh, the ones that are colored are your required uh, belt loops. The ones that are sort of monochrome are the electives. There are 13 electives. You have to choose one. Six required, one elective. You can do more than one. Um, and the sort of the teal green uh, color uh, that's around it that does, designates that it is... Uh, a bear. Now, to help you plan, once again, I highly recommend, after I, I've looked through all these, I'd highly recommend starting with Adventure 1 and going from there. It's a pretty easy system to follow. If you can read, you can be a den leader on stuff. But let's say uh, you're working with your your pack and you're working with your cub master because he oversees all of the den leaders and you guys are going to kind of plan out slightly different order of things or maybe you've got some city festivals or things you can go to that you can kind of switch it up uh, for things that that make more sense as with all the other den leaders there is a den leader annual adventure plan lists all the month and you can kind of change the order of what uh, what you want uh, but if you're new to this, if you're nervous, if you're worried about are you doing it right, just start with Adventure 1 uh, and go from there. There's been a lot of thought, a lot of planning put into this for you that you don't have to worry so much about. So let's take one of the required adventures and sort of deconstruct it, kind of give you an idea of what's all going on. This one is called Bear Claws. And we're, I mean, if we're going to start off the bears, let's start them off right. And we go right into learning about knives and the safety of knives. So once again, the first thing that you're gonna see as a den leader is the rationale for this adventure. Why are we doing what we're doing? And just to give you a little taste of this, it says most young men are very excited about the opportunity to own and carry a pocket knife. In many families, this may be a rite of passage. I know in our family it is. You can't do it until you've, until you've earned uh, your whittling chip. It is important that the scout understands a pocket knife is a tool and not a toy and how to responsibly handle and use the pocket knife when he is around others. So that's why we're doing what we're doing. You know, what is the scout going to take away from this? Understanding that carrying and using a pocket knife at approved scouting activities is an honor to be given to those scouts who demonstrate they are mature enough to live up to the responsibility that goes along with this tool. So it's not just another toy, is what we're hoping. Uh, learning to follow safety rules, learning the different types of pocket knives and appropriate use of them, and a scout is trustworthy and obedient. There are three requirements to this adventure. Now, there's not always three requirements, 
Sometimes there's five, sometimes there's eight. That varies based on adventure, okay? You know, the first requirement here is learn about the three common designs of pocket knives. Second, learn knife safety and earn your whittling chip. And third, using a pocket knife, carve two items. So you can see how in the first meeting you introduce all the safety, you go through some stuff, and then in the subsequent two meetings they start working on carving two items. I know in our pack, uh, what we'll do is we start to get them used to doing stuff. Uh, we have an Avon uh, rep as a part of our, our pack, and she donates a lot of soap, old soap, and uh, just gives them that, that skill uh, of working around. There are three meeting plans. Now, just to give you an idea, this is what uh, there are six pages. So three pages front and back that give you everything. So as you're trying to help encourage other parents to becoming your assistant uh, of taking a more active role, you can easily just take this and go, here's meeting plan one right there. That's it. Boom. This little section right here, meeting plan one. It goes over preparation, materials needed, what you need, uh, then there's gathering activities, and there's even a quiz uh, that you can ask the boys and stuff. You can hand that to one person and you yourself take it, go from there. Uh, and then when you get to requirement two, requirement or uh, meeting three, you can just hand these off. Now for some of you, you've written in and asked, you know, what do we do if uh, we don't meet uh, every week? What if we meet just twice a month? Well, rather, I mean, these are designed to be three, roughly 45 minute sessions in terms of the core material. There's always the, the pre-opening, the opening ceremony, Pledge of Allegiance, and then the closing down of stuff. So we don't need to necessarily do that three times. So you can take that out. And so then kind of the core of the material is about 45 minutes, give or take, uh, and stuff. So, so if you work, if you go every other week and you go for an hour and a half, you'll be absolutely fine. Um, these are also things like if you wanted to get uh, get your bears together on a Saturday morning for about a two and a half hour session, you can knock out an adventure uh, in that time. So something to think about when you guys are doing your planning. Um, so tomorrow we'll start to deconstruct the Weeblos. But until then, learn everything you can, share everything you know, and live the Scout Oath and Scout Law.